There's this uh, verse in, in Proverbs. Um, let, me, let me read it to you. I've been thinking about it a bit. It says, a man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. I don't know. I, I, I have felt for a while this verse has been kind of impacting me a bit. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. You understand that it's a small key that opens a big door. And every once in a while we find these phrases that might be easy to overlook when in fact they are connected to so much of the reality of God in our life yeah. if we can just simply capture the power of that simple key. A man will be satisfied with good. Socially, intellectually, spiritually, nourished, full, abundantly, and is determined by what first came out of the person's mouth. In other words, the measure for what I received, at least in this context, is set by what first comes out of my mouth. <laughs> first, by what comes out of my mouth. So life and death is in the power of the tongue. Some things have to be said. This has been a part of our, our culture for as long as I can remember. But I still feel like I need, I need to review this one. Here's the deal, Psalms 91. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my strength. He is my God in whom I will trust. It says, I will say of the Lord. It doesn't say, and I will think of the Lord. It doesn't say, I will contemplate of the Lord. It says, I will say, because some things just need to be said. Some things need to be said. I have found for me, it's a strength for me. When I'm in a, a rough place, in fact, Benny and I will sit together on the couch. We'll pray together and we will make this statement. We trust you, Father. You are our refuge. You are our strength. You're our hiding place. We trust you. We trust you. And make the decree. Make the proclamation. Don't, don't, don't let it be passive. Don't let it be just some passive comment of agreement. It's, it's no. Apparently, things come into my life by what comes out of my mouth. And so I am going to make a decree. I will say of the Lord, and I am in fact saying it now. The Lord is my refuge. He is my hiding place. He is my dwelling place. And in him, I will trust. I will trust. I don't have a plan B. There's no other options. I serve one God. No options. The scripture actually teaches that what comes into our life comes through a measurement set by your decrees. The scripture says he inhabits the praises of his people. His amen to my recognition of who he is, putting it in word form as he comes and he establishes his throne upon the praises of his people. If God occupies my praise, who occupies my complaints? Words are covenants. Words are partnerships. They're agreements. 